Hello everyone. Welcome to Reading with Mrs. Adams. I'm Mrs. Adams and I have selected three books and two poems to read to you today all about colors. Colors are all around us. God loves variety and so he's created a world filled with beautiful colors everywhere and it makes our world more interesting too. The first book that I'm going to read to you today is called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. This book is about three mice, three very curious mice, and a little mischievous as well. Mischievous because I think they get themselves into something that they really shouldn't have done. Are you ready to read Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh? Let's begin. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. This one's for my mom, Nell Orm Stoll Jones. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His feet stirred the yellow puddle until Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into the blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, and one part yellow, and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. And that's the end of Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. That was fun. I love that the mice learned something new about colors. I hope you did too. The first poem I'm going to read today is called Colors. It's a poem and a song. First I'll read the, the poem, then I'll sing it, and I'll read it again. You can follow along the words and the pictures as I read and sing. Colors by Bev Boss. Orange is a carrot, yellow is a pear, purple is a plum, and brown is a bear. Green is the grass, and blue is the sky. Black is a rubber boot, and red is cherry pie. Colors. Orange is a carrot, Yellow is a pear, purple is a plum, and brown is a bear. Green is the grass, and blue is the sky. Black is a rubber boot, and red is cherry pie. Colors. Orange is a carrot, yellow is a pear, purple is a plum, and brown is a bear. Green is the grass, 
and blue is the sky. Black is a rubber boot and red is cherry pie. I hope you enjoyed that poem. I love to sing and I hope you had fun singing along with me. The next story that I'm going to read is called Colors. This is a scholastic first discovery book and it's actually not a story so much as information about colors. All facts. It's called informational text. I hope you enjoy Colors. Colors a first discovery book published by Scholastic. Colors, created by Gallimard Jeunesse and Pascal de Bourgogne. Illustrated by P.M. Vallet and Sylvain Perrault. A first discovery book. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Here's a funny name that will help you remember them. Roy G. Biv. This color is red. Here are some bright red toys. A red pencil, red paint, a red marker. What are your favorite red things? This color is yellow. Bright yellow like the sun that ripens the fruit you eat. A banana, an apple, a lemon, a pear. All are bright yellow. What are your favorite yellow things? This color is blue. Deep blue like the ocean or clear blue like the sky. What are your favorite blue things? We can mix paints or inks to make more colors. Red or pink mixed with yellow makes orange. You can try mixing more colors too. Blue and yellow mixed together Make green. Red or pink mixed with blue makes purple or violet. Can you make these flowers violet? You can mix red or orange with green to make brown. We can see all the colors of the rainbow and more in nature. This bird is blue. This chick is yellow. This goldfish is orange. What color are the parrot's feathers? This bat has purple wings. This chameleon is green. This bear is brown. Zebras have black and white stripes. What colors do you see on this butterfly? The brightly colored city buildings cast shadows of black and gray. Black and white make gray. Mix gray with a color to make a darker shade. Mix white with a color to make a lighter tint. Do you think these blue circles are all the same size? All the same color? All the circles are exactly the same. Some of the circles look darker or lighter, bigger or smaller, because of the colors that surround them. Do you think the blue bird's head will fit inside the yellow shape? It will.
And that's the end of Colors, a first discovery book published by Scholastic. I hope you enjoyed the book Colors. I really like the pages that show what happens when you mix two colors together. The next poem I'm going to read is called What is Pink by Christina Rossetti. What is Pink by Christina Rossetti. What is Pink? A rose is pink by its fountain brink. What is red? A poppy's red in its barley bed. What is blue? The sky is blue where the clouds float through. What is white? A swan is white, sailing in the light. What is yellow? Pears are yellow, rich and ripe and mellow. What is green? The grass is green with small flowers between. What is violet? Clouds are violet in the summer twilight. What is orange? Why, an orange, just an orange. I hope you enjoyed What is Pink by Christina Rossetti. The next story I'm going to read is called Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. It's by Charlotte Zolito and it's illustrated by Marie Sendak. This book is about a little girl who's trying to think of something wonderful to give her mother for a birthday present. And she has a little help from her friend, Mr. Rabbit. Let's read Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Charlotte Zolito, illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Charlotte Zolito, pictures by Maurice Sendak. Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Charlotte Zolito, pictures by Maurice Sendak. For Buena da Polonia. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl? I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit, it's her birthday said the little girl. Happy birthday to her then, said Mr. Rabbit. What are you going to give her? That's just it, said the little girl. That's why I want help. I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on her birthday, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, you really do want help. I would like to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a good present, said Mr. Rabbit. But what, said the little girl. Yes, what, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her red. Something red, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something red, said Mr. Rabbit. What is red, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. No, said the little girl, I can't give her that. There are red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. There are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes birds and trees. There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Well said Mr. Rabbit. There are apples. Good, said the little girl. That's good. She likes apples. But I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. 
Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her yellow. Something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. What is yellow, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun, said the little girl, though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds in trees, the little girl said. That's right, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? We have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, good, that's good, said the little girl. She likes bananas. I need something else, though. What else does she like? said Mr. Rabbit. She likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her green. Something green, maybe, said the little girl. Emeralds, said the rabbit. Emeralds make a lovely gift. I can't afford an emerald, said the little girl. Parrots are green, said Mr. Rabbit. But she likes birds and trees. No, said the little girl. Parrots won't do. Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green, spinach is green. No, said the little girl. We have those for dinner all the time. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit. Some of them are very green. She doesn't care for caterpillars, the little girl said. How about pears, said Mr. Rabbit. Bartlett pears. The very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples, bananas, and pears. But I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes blue, the little girl said. Blue. You can't give her blue, said Mr. Rabbit. Something blue, maybe, said the little girl. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, you know, said the little girl. Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, the little girl said. But I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes birds and trees, said Mr. Rabbit. Right, said the little girl. How about blue grapes, said Mr. Rabbit. Yes, said the little girl. That is good, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears and bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift, said Mr. Rabbit. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. So she took her basket and she filled it with the green pears and the yellow bananas and the red apples and the blue grapes. It made a lovely present. Thank you for your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit. Very glad to help. Goodbye now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit, and a happy birthday and a happy basket of fruit to your mother. The End And that was Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Charlotte Zolito and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. 
I hope you enjoyed Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. And I hope you enjoyed all the other stories and poems that I read to you as well today. If you did, don't forget to push the subscribe button. It's the little red button with the white arrow. That way you'll get all the new videos just as they come out. Thank you for joining me today. Always remember that God loves you. So dare to dream the impossible because all things are possible with God. I love you. Goodbye.